Hello, I'm Tian Wei, and welcome to World Insight. Chinese movie industry is going through a tough time due to the impacts of the pandemic. However, Chinese filmmakers are resilient and determined to create and celebrate great works. When I was hosting the opening ceremony of the 12th Beijing International Film Festival, I talked to many there. Besides the red carpet and the celebrity fanfare, the festival this year is working to rally the crowd and be a source of strength and hope for China's movie industry. So the Chinese movie makers are not only thinking about the box office, they are also trying very hard to use the current time to nurture new talent. For example, Li Xiaohong, the president of the China Film Directors Association, who is also the founder of the Young Shoots Organizing Committee, she devotes much of her time on the cause. When I visited her in her studio, she told me she is not alone on that, but with the support of many outstanding filmmakers from China. So good to see you, Xiao Hong. It's been a long time dream for me to come here and talk to you. Now, I really wondered, you know, under the current circumstances and the dramatic changes we see every day, how do you see a movie director will still be able to maintain his or her vitality? Uh, the truth is, for directors like us, the ever-changing world is actually the best opportunity for us, because we can record and observe such a changing world. You will feel that there are many themes and many things needed to capture and to express. This is indeed a very rare treasure in our life. In fact, for our age, we have enough experience. Much experience, right? Like going through the Cultural Revolution. I went to the countryside, then I was enlisted. And after the Cultural Revolution, I started to go to university and started to study films again. But when we were assigned to a film studio, we encountered reform and opening up, and then the rise of our film market. Then the movie market was established. Until now, the movie market has grown from thousands of screens to tens of thousands of screens. It is almost equal to all the largest movie countries in the world. And it is the movie market with the largest box office. It has also suffered the pandemic's impact together with the world. It has had a big impact on the economy for three consecutive years and on the entire film industry. I think any generation may not have as rich an experience as our generation. But for film creators, we are so lucky. We use these inexhaustible experiences as sources of inspiration. In fact, in the past three years, I also really wanted to take part in films depicting the pandemic. And then I had such an opportunity with two other female directors, Chang Ai Jia and Zhong Chen. We filmed her story together. The film shows how these women deal with unprecedented life changes under the pandemic. I don't know how you maintain that vitality, <laughs> running out every day, doing things. The thing is, we love movies. Because it happens that everyone is writing scripts at home during the epidemic. And they have this passion and want to have a lot of things to show. So maybe the pandemic hit the industry very hard, but we can feel it, that during this process, everyone looks forward to a better future. Everyone is preparing for the market to rebound. So this motivates me. I really wonder why are you always concentrating on stories of today? Why is it so important to you as a movie director? In the past hundred years, China has changed a lot, and people of our age have experienced so much. 
So I think for us, what I want to express the most is the perception of reality. In particular, the impact on the Chinese people in the past 70 to 80 years. China is changing very fast, and it makes you feel that it is necessary to take the time to express and document it. How did you look back at some of the choices you made, you know, about real life in China? I was filming the movie Stolen Life at that time. Actually, I had already filmed Palace of Desire at the time. When the market started to get better, the writer An Duan started interviewing and doing oral transcripts in 1995. She interviewed thousands of people and published five books, which especially recorded the emotion of people amid a changing market and reform. This point was particularly attractive to me at that time. Then I selected ten stories in her five books. These ten stories show the changes of this society from several levels. So in fact, there are many characters in these ten stories, including soldiers, civil servants, including some grassroots figures. And so, this story was actually very sensational after it was filmed at that time. When it was screened in different provinces and cities, it stirred a lot of reactions, which I think came after the fact that it was very close to the lives of people at the time. Transport就是或者分享您刚才所说到的对现实主义题材的关注呢，您觉得他们对现实主义题材的关注和您那一代，咱们说第五代导演哈，有些很大的区别吗？ What is most concerning is how to tap into and cultivate the creative ability of these directors and more emphasis on their ability to express so as to show their talent. I found that the creation process of this generation is actually quite different from those of our generation in the 1980s or 1990s. For example, their ability to focus on themselves and independent thinking are very strong. For example, many of their themes are based on all their experiences and many portrayals. And then there are also some themes about their relationship with their family, their parents, brothers and sisters. I was actually quite surprised by this, because I found that we didn't seem to have made films based on this before. We would only incorporate some of our experiences as details, but would not use them as the main theme. I think maybe it's because we grew up in different environments. Uh, 比如说引入陈音啊等等啊，这些可以说是作者电影或者是艺术电影。您作为导演来看不同导演的经历过程当中，是有一个什么样的启发呢？啊，呃，我是觉得其实有很多人都还在，就是不断的在。I think there are many people who are insisting on self-expression. In fact, I think this point is very important for a creator. And it is also a point that we actually value very much in Qingcong Jihua and the training of young directors. As a director, your self-expression, self-awareness and worldview are actually very important, and you must establish your own. Li Ruijun is a director I have been paying close attention to. His expression is of his own instinct, and he is not affected by the realities. I think this is very rare for a director. He is quiet. Only what he wants to express and focus is the spiritual support for him. 
and then he makes his movies in three to four years, setting up little by little. He participated in every process of filmmaking, even including the final editing. So his film shows his individualism and personal expression. Every time I see his new movie, for example, Return to Dust, I was touched seeing the film. I'm very sincere because after you have seen his entire process, I think his efforts are very worthwhile. And we really need such a director to record and express the changes of our times with our society. Yao so we hold these activities to encourage people. We are looking for opportunities for people to learn from each other and exchange energy with others. This is an energy field. People feel the environment of creation here and then learns and motivates each other. Then we will summarize and see what we have achieved this year and what we can still do in next step. There was one year that I was particularly impressed by, in which we did not pick up the best film. The judges at the time wondered whether we wanted to choose the best film or to set a standard. When we were judging the films, that was a very critical one with our directors, which finally we found it was not good enough to meet our ideal standards. So we pick no one. I just hope that all the judges of this session would stand on the stage and you will be able to convince all these directors with your own ideas. If we have not yet set an artistic standard or we cannot reach it, we will admit that we would continue to work hard next year. Last year, we is that everyone stand up and applauded for us. I was particularly impressed. This is actually more important than this award. The award is not about how good I am, but about everyone communicating and raising our artistic standards little by little. I think this is our particularly lovely point, you know. So, at that time, I also sincerely felt that I recognized everyone for doing this, because the meaning was too important. I can feel that through your cooperation, you have been trying to nurture, help, support other women in the movie industry. Some of them have been working with you for decades. I think it is true that it is more difficult for women to survive than men because they have more social roles and because of occupational and family responsibilities. No matter how liberated a woman is, no matter how brave, for women there is no way to slack off her social and family responsibilities. So it will definitely be more difficult. So in this regard, it has indeed caused women to be particularly tenacious. They place great importance on opportunities. In this process, they are not afraid of setbacks, and they exert themselves to survive. I also particularly hope that as long as there is a chance, I am willing to find more opportunities like this for everyone to help them survive. And I think the biggest difference for women now and in the past is that women in the past were actually satisfied with themselves in life and their families. While now, most women are relatively independent, especially for those who are financially independent, most of which are relatively independent spiritually. So they need more and more social and spiritual support Women need to improve themselves, not only as a mother or for her family, but more importantly, 
a recognition for their own values. So, I think this is why women are now far more demanding of themselves, which is also the reason why their chances of success are getting higher and higher.